Hello again. Welcome back to Hidden Artifacts channel. Today's gonna be a quick one. It's really humid out. I'm already sweating. <laughs> and I've only been out here for a few minutes. Uh, I'm actually across the street from a golf course and I am detecting my hidden spot one last time. Uh, this time on a kind of sidewalk next to the road. Um, but this land's been here a really long time and I'm hoping that I might find some cool stuff just because it's adjacent to, I don't know, where a lot of wealthy people probably used to come to go golfing. Um, I guess we'll see. So, not quite sure what I'm going to find today. Maybe nothing at all. Uh, it's a pretty heavily trafficked area, so I'd like some jewelry if nothing else. <laughs> uh, like I get to choose, but, you know, one can hope. So, without further ado, here we go. Apologize about the noise. I'm right off the road here. First hole I dig, I come up just, uh, I don't know, 40 feet or so and hadn't really got anything. Then I got a strong 10, 11. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I hope that is what I think it is. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. I'm so excited. Oh man, hold on. I gotta get in there. That's gotta be gold. It has to be. Oh, here we go. It's pretty weighty. Oh, please let this be real. Does it say anything? All right, there's marks in it. Ah, uh, can't read it. Hold on, I gotta clean it up. I'll let you know. Ah, uh, it's plated. <laughs> that sucks. It might still be silver, I'm not sure. Plated. I'll have to look at it when I get home and, and clean it up, but I can see it's coming off in, in parts. There is an engraving in the bottom but I, I can't see what it says. Still a cool ring though. Nice find. Next to the, uh, what I think is a fake ring, I got another pretty good signal. And it's looking gold. It's looking gold. Oh, that's nice. It's a K. Although I don't think it's gold. I think it might, I mean, I don't know for sure. Oh, I nicked it. I don't know. It might be plated. I'll have to look for some marks. Looks like this got broken. Pretty cool though. I'll take a closer look. about to head out and uh it's actually on the way back to my car which is right over there and yeah, just swinging on the way out and look at this look what popped out here we go it's a ring and it looks to be gold <laughs> uh, i don't know it might be copper it's pretty bent I'm gonna have to clean that up and look for some marks. Could I have found two gold rings today? That'd be incredible. It's pretty heavy. Hmm. Nice find nonetheless. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at what we found. We've got an old milk glass medicine bottle. Uh, I actually found this when I was pulling out a piece of scrap metal. That was pretty interesting find. Uh, Land Pride, not entirely sure what this is, some kind of tag, I'll have to look that up and see uh, where that might be from. Lots of uh, clad, modern, spendable change. And then the three finds of the day are pretty good, actually. Uh, we've got the K pin, looks fairly old, that's been engraved by hand. And it's a shame this broke on the back. 
Um, it looks like I must have hit that when I was pulling it out of the ground. We've got the, what I think is copper, handmade ring. I'm gonna try to bend that back to full circle here and might be able to wear that. And then the last thing, which, man, that looks good, but I'm, I'm just afraid it's not, is this guy right here. It's still pretty nonetheless, and it does have some markings on the inside, but uh, unfortunately I don't think it's gold, even though I really want it to be. <laughs> But I'm gonna clean it up when I get home just to make sure. But yeah, you can see right there. It looks like uh, looks like it's plated. That stinks because that would have been the find of the year right there. Still a really pretty ring. It's pretty nice. Really, really dry spell lately. Um, it's been record lows as far as, uh, as far as water goes and rain. Um, normally the bank is up here and you can see there's a good 15 feet or so of rear bank exposed. And, uh, I just got a pretty good signal. It was in the high twenties, low thirties. And look what just popped out right next to the water. This has probably been underwater for a long time. It appears to be a barber. <laughs> and it looks like it's 1908. I can't tell. Or is that 18? Uh, either way, I'm happy. Very happy. I'll take it. So until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna be out over the next couple days because uh, I'm on vacation. So I have a lot of time that I can go out and uh, hit some parks and some old parts of Lansing here. I'm actually gonna be possibly joining up tomorrow with a group of guys that are from out of town, uh, specifically way down south. Uh, they're up here on vacation and they uh, hit up Facebook and I think we might go be going out with them and uh, having some fun with them. So hopefully that'll happen. If so, I'll be sure to film it. Talk to you guys later. Keep digging.